everybody welcome to my channel I'm Heather if you don't know already and I've got some burnt wood this was an old rotting pallet and I took my propane torch and I burned the heck out of it until it was charred you can see even where the ants were living and I'm gonna test out some new epoxy to me some resin this is Alumilite Clear. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Eight minutes working time. You can demold in one hour. I'm not going to mold anything. I'm going to brush it on to seal it. And then I'll do some resin work on it. So I don't need very much. So I just poured out what, five mils of each. So we're going to give this a quick stir. I don't know if it's going to, it, well, it is a little, you could see, I don't know if you can see it. There is some lines in there. It doesn't get cloudy like, uh, well, the small amount, it doesn't get cloudy. I'm just reading what it says. Mix instructions using a gram scale. Oops, I didn't do that. Measure equal parts, and it doesn't say how long to mix. says it's meant for parts less than a quarter inch, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to paint a real thin layer. So only eight minutes, so let's get going. I've got an old brush that is really ratty. I should have on some gloves. So we're going to just start getting it all in the crevices just to seal it. And I'm only going to do three sides. Uh, I don't want to do the back because I'll do the back later. But this is going to just seal it. I have an idea for this, for these pieces. So I thought I would uh, show you how I'm doing it. So you can see all the steps involved. Uh, what I have in mind is the next layer that I put on, I want to put on some interference mica powders because I think that will look really sharp against the black, but not all over. I just want it in certain places because I want to, I want to see the charred wood, but we're going to preserve this so that it uh, doesn't decay while it's hanging outside. But, you know, driftwood doesn't decay. Oh, you know what I just did? I just did all four sides. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't stick to my tablecloth. Well, no, it doesn't. Re well, normal resin doesn't stick. It peels right off this cheap Dollar Tree tablecloth. These are for, like, picnics. These, this black thing. I bought them... Purely with the intent of hiding, <laughs> hiding the mess underneath. I'm going to use liquid diamonds today because my liquid diamonds just came. And I've got Duo Vert, Duo Green and Purple, Interference Green. I'm going to put these two together and then I'm going to add some of these little, um, it's called Heart of Glass. It's just cellophane colored cellophane and then on the other one I'm going to do interference violet and I'm going to add these opal crystals they have some pretty purple so I hope that that comes through okay I think I'm going to do green on this
Look at that. Wow. I can see me using this. Oh, pretty. Probably going to mostly run off, but there's nothing much I can do about it because wood has got so many cracks and crevices. But I don't want that to all run out. Hi guys, it seems like forever since I have touched this project. But we are ready to do the strings to turn this into a sun catcher. Isn't that pretty? I love how that sparkly turned out. So anyways, the first thing we need to do is figure out where the center balance is. So I just made a slip knot. And I'm going to kind of judge where I think that it's going to hang. Oh, wrong way. I think right about there. You no, know, see how that's hanging down? So I need to come this way a little bit. Still hanging too low. That's working really good right there. That's really good. So this is where we need to mark our center. So I'm going to get a nail really quick here. And I'm going to poke a hole right there. And then again right in the center on the bottom. So now we don't need that anymore. And on this one I'm going to do five across the bottom and one across the top. <clears throat> I'll show you how to do the first one. I'm just going to give that a good push and turn. And push and turn. This is painful when you don't have pliers. I didn't bring any pliers with me except for my cutters. And if you're going to do this with like driftwood or something, you're going to want to put some E6000 or some kind of an epoxy, two-part epoxy. That'll go there. I'll do one more here. There we go. Okay, that'll be that one. So let me get the other four in, two here and two here. I'm in Texas, guys. I am watching the boys as mommy and daddy go to hospital to visit with the baby. And so and right now, one is taking a nap and the other one went with mommy and daddy to go to Home Depot. <laughs> okay, so now what you're going to need is some beading wire. This is 0 .014, um, 21 strands, so it'll hold up to 10 pounds, which I think is plenty. Uh, don't think there'll be 10 pounds of beads on each wire. Then I've got some snap swivels. I just got these at the neighborhood fleet farm. Uh, these are size 10, but you can go bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter. I just have a bunch here. And then you need tons and tons of glass beads. I also have five pearl discs that I think that I want to hang from the base of each one. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I've got some large glass beads, but I think I kind of want to stick to the medium and the small size. So 
the first thing you're going to do is uh, we'll do the top piece. So I'm going to just measure off maybe 18 inches. It won't be this long. But I'm not really good with these crimp beads. These are two millimeter crimp beads. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a crimp bead on. Put on a swivel. And then I'm going to run this wire back through the crimp bead. And bring that up to the top there. And then I'm going to take my two millimeter crimp crimping tool and I'm going to try to get that right, right in. One more. Right in there. And it's going to make it look like a book. You see that? See how, see how I did that? I got a big loop there. <coughs> you don't want that. But it's too late now. So now I'm going to close the book and give it a good crimp. So now that's not going anywhere. So now the first thing I want to put on here is something, something sparkly. Let's put this on. Uh-oh, baby's awake.
this guys finished product it's very colorful very sparkly likes to spin on me but that's the way I made it let me see if I can get close I love the colors I wish they were I wish I could capture them in the sun in the camera all glass beads you want to make sure that you use glass um, I do have some oyster shells in here other oh, pearl If you use acrylic, they will turn cloudy in the sun. But I have another video that I'm working on for an art piece where I show you how I charred the wood and then I seal it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you give this a try. This is so pretty. It's so sparkly. I, I just don't know if the sun is, if the camera is catching it. But anyways, like, subscribe, hit that little bell so you get notifications, and leave me a comment on what you think. Oh, do you see that little chipmunk? There he goes. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.